literally everything has to be cleaned out. My seats are still wet a little bit from wiping some of them down. Literally. Only thing can be in the glove carpet is your insurance. This is the first time I got to actually gamble with my dang on gas tank, right? So when you drop your car off, it got to be on a quarter tank of gas or less. So I got to drive to Dallas. So we're going to hope that when I drop. to come and go to the back area just please ensure that you guys have in your gps west airfield and not north airfield like i had in my gps just double checking and it doesn't show grapevine like it does um on google when you search it shows Euless, texas you come to the back go through the gate and due to COVID right now, they're only taking like limited of six people per hour. So this is how they list. Okay, so I'm now at the airport. Uh, I am not flying out today to Germany. I actually have six days. I am flying to go see families. But I wanted to give you guys heads up. Heads up was given to me from my sponsor, from individuals that went prior. And I know things change constantly, especially with the COVID. Um, 19. First thing, as I mentioned before, is ensure you have the right address in your GPS. I wasn't far at all. Uh, I was a little late for my appointment, but they were actually behind. They're only taking six people per hour right now. Um, there are car washes that's close by. You do have to have your car clean on the outside and the inside. Um, I drove like 166 miles distance from where I was living to Dallas. Um, by the time I got my car there, I was like, well, I started off like 245 miles, drove around a little bit. Um, when I dropped my car off, it was 27 miles um, to empty. So you can have a quarter tank or less in your gas tank. When I say thorough cleaning, I mean thorough cleaning. I sat in the lobby seeing them send people back out to like wipe down their car again. Um, some people had came back like three, four, five times because they either had too much gas, um, didn't have all their documents. Now, one thing I will say that I did like is that they do have a computer and a printer that is available for those who need to um, print any of the documents. Please make sure you have all your documents when they call your name. Um, one thing I did learn is when I first read the requirements for turning in your vehicle, I had just contacted my dealer um, for a VIN, uh, VIN number recall. However, you have to use the one that's on the site. I think it's like safeguard or safecar.gov. You have to use that one. So say you come and you don't have that one, you can use the computer and the printer to do so. Um, when the guy first came and asked for uh, my name and go out to the car with my key, I thought that was just the inspection itself, but they do a pre-inspection, which is walk up to making sure the inside piece is good and there's no properties in there. When you park, it's in the back. When you get out your car, take everything inside with you. Because once you turn over that key, that's it. Um, so after he did his pre-inspection, you go and you do turn in the paperwork for the reception or an assistant, whatever. Um, once you do that, you go back and sit down again. You come back for signatures and let you know your estimated dates of when your car will arrive. And then you go to the back of the warehouse. Um, after you do your paperwork with the initial people, they'll send you to the back. You do your final inspection. I'm just waiting for my car to pull up to do a final inspection with the inspector. Um, lots of cars, <laughs> but you go back there for them to do the thorough, thorough inspection. I'm talking about like taking pictures, the outside, the inside, making sure your windshield wipers, like everything, car maintenance um, inspection done. Um, once they're done. Um, they will provide you a copy. So you'll get two copies. You'll get the copy from the receptionist that's saying, you know, all your detail information, your personal information, um, the destination VPC of where your vehicle is going, 
estimated date of when it's gonna arrive. Also, um, and then when they do the final inspection, they'll give you their piece as well. Um, another tip, the airport is not far. I don't even think it's like seven minutes, honestly. Um, Uber, right up. So as I have like a few seconds before they bring my car around, just FYI, if you are flying out of Dallas, um, after dropping your car, make sure you have plenty of time before because it takes a little process for to be called to go through your paperwork, for someone to do a pre-inspection walkthrough of your car, then for the final. Like now, I am sitting here waiting because someone's in front of me. This is my first time flying out of Dallas or DFW. It's large. <laughs> so if you are flying out of American, please know your terminal. I was enlightened today that there's five American terminals. Um, so I just gambled and picked C, and thankfully I was in C. Um, I'm excited. It's hitting me more now. Um, same process as active duty. I mean, our orders just look different a little, but um, the excitement and anything that I find out or can share to others as civilians, um, that's PCS and overseas, I'm invited to share. I know this time is a little different because it's COVID, but. And just like that, your girl passed all inspection, no issues, no problems. It's just my problem. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys in touch. Six days, six days. Oh, the next one, talk about luggage. Ha ha ha, have a good one.